time to talk about a little news that kind of grabbed everybody's attention over uh, on Sunday. Uh, and Seth Davis is here to shed light on it uh, because if it happens in college hoops, Seth Davis is all over it. So John Calipari to Arkansas. Um, official? Not official. It's not official until it's official. My understanding is the contract is not quite done. It's almost done. I believe it's going to be done. I do believe John Calipari will be the next coach at Arkansas. Uh, my understanding is this happened that a kind of a casual dialogue developed between John and the school over the last week or so, largely to talk about other candidates. And as often happens in these situations, they kind of wind, wind it around to, well, what about you? And then once uh, Chris Beard from Ole Miss and then Jerome Tang at Kansas State, Chris Beard was their top choice. And he, if Chris Beard wanted to be the coach at Arkansas, he'd be the next coach at Arkansas. He pulled himself out, didn't get far with Jerome Tang, and then over the weekend, because of the involvement of John Tyson of Tyson Foods, because it comes down to not only the coach's salary and compensation, that's old school uh, math, which was important, over $8 million a year. It's the NIL fund that he will have, which I believe will be unsurpassed. And so the question about why he is going, we know about the expectations and the fans. He's been there 15 years. It's like dog years. It might as well be 30. One piece, though, guys, that is kind of missing here is that basically from the very time that John Calipari went from Memphis to Kentucky, he's had a very unhealthy, unproductive relationship with the athletic director, Mitch Barnhart. There have been times where it was really bad. It's gotten better, but it's never been great. Then when you throw on the early NCAA tournament exits where you want to really feel like you guys are simpatico, that feeling wasn't there. And at the end of the day, like I said, 15 years in that job is a very long time. Good for him, good for Kentucky, good for Arkansas, and I think it's good for college basketball. Well, it's good for uh, Kentucky basketball if they're doing well, uh, you know, and I think I think it's probably time for John to move. Uh, he, I think it had ran its course. Uh, he's a terrific coach, but he, he they've underachieved and you can't underachieve at Kentucky. He's, he's had such tremendous success, but to be honest, he's had he's underachieved the last few years and he's probably getting out ahead of the posse and, uh, you know, Arkansas. Hey, but that man, that's a great job. But not many people can handle that job. Champs were they were the champs in 2012. Kentucky was under under Coach Cal, and but, but there hasn't been a Final Four since 15. Uh, but this now here's this job, this Kentucky job, which is a plum. So who's getting it? Good question. If I knew the answer, I'd be in Vegas right now, probably putting <laughs> something down on it. Look, the first call is to Billy Donovan. You have to make that call. I sincerely doubt he is happy not being in college. The reasons why he left have only gotten worse. Plus, he's going to be coaching at least another few weeks. So how long can you wait when all this transfer portal action is going on? In terms of the college game, you take some big swings. Uh, you know, I think you talk to uh, somebody like Mark Few, for example. Dan Hurley's got a game tonight. UConn is going to have to back up the Brinks truck to keep him. So you got to make those calls. I think the realistic combination between somebody who might be interested in the job and someone who's buyout you can afford is Scott Drew at Baylor. His buyout is only about $4 million. Nate Oates is a great basketball coach. His buyout is $18 million. Even for Kentucky, that's real money. I would predict it's going to be Scott Drew, but you got to kick the tires on some of these other candidates. Well, I will say this, and I'm not going to, you know, the, evaluation. the guy sitting next to you to your left, <laughs> no, like I would be like, hands off, Jay Wright, no. please Stay away. come back to you college basketball. You would never leave No, wait, promise. forget, the forget George, what he is saying. The floor but, is yours, No, wait, I'll floor give you, George, oh, can I ask him the question? Oh, okay. Yeah. Because to me, I always call, I never call him Jay, I call him coach. What college basketball needs is mentors. They need people who are going to take guys do it. Coach, if you, even if this is not it, there is a place for you still in college basketball in my space. Well, I appreciate that, Kenny. And I, I am so happy doing this. I'm telling you this right now. I love doing this. I like being Kenny's coach, even though I'm not Chuck's coach yet. I haven't earned that. I haven't earned that yet. But I love being Kenny's coach. And I, and I say this, Chuck, to your point about John running his course, what John Calipari has done in Kentucky, it's not just the recruiting, the Final Fours, it's getting guys to the NBA, taking care of their friends. It's their big blue midnight madness, having Drake come in, having the top recruits in the country every single year. Th that program is known worldwide 
and it always was, but he took it into this, this new generation and did an incredible job. The guy that replaces him is going to be in a really difficult position to cover all the areas of college basketball. He's a college basketball genius. What he did in recruiting and, and bringing in all those pros and, and all those guys that come back to Kentucky makes that program as strong as ever. Whoever comes in there is going into a super strong program. We appreciate that's Seth. a firm no, though. Was that a firm no? Yeah, of yes. the media. <laughs> yes, yes. I told you, I'm Kenny's coach, man, and proud right. of it. Yeah. Hey, you, Stand Kenny's coach. Kenny's going to Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, thank you. Thank appreciate you, guys. It. Thanks, Seth. I'm well trying done. to get the memo about the suits. That's my bad. I went. Dark. <laughs> oh yeah, you're fine, man. Going contrary. Me and you, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> Please pick up the phone. Um, <laughs> <you're like horses>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was, uh, saw this online today as this well. Is on there, there is a dog in that stroller, by the way. It he don't has can't walk, dog. Ain't walking There's your a dog. dog in the stroller. Just That's not dog. walking your dog if he's in a stroller. Only John could do that under these circumstances. No one else would walk, walk That's the dog. That's not walking your dog if he's in a stroller. Stop it.